everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to another episode of Dear Mona, Chapter 27. Good tidings and well wishes. The results the results for the micro chronicle disease were in. And this is one of the most important mem moments of my pregnancy. How are you feeling, Pandora? I feel I'm nervous. It's just, I just want to hear that my baby will be okay. Understandable. I got those results to you as fast as I could. I know. I appreciate that. So let's get down to it. Wait, do you want to know something funny about the baby? I can find out something funny about the baby. Oh, do I want to? Yes. I'd love to. Your baby has the biggest feet I've ever seen. <laughs> it's uncanny. They're developing incredibly early. <laughs> wow. That's really funny, doctor. But can we hear the results now? Of course. Well, let's see. Hmm. I'm happy to report that, as of now, your baby is 100% happy and healthy. There is no sign of microchronicle. Not even any warning signs. Oh, thank God. Can you let the boys know? I think I need to sit down for a second. My heart is pounding out of my chest. Take a deep breath. I'll rush a rush of uh, uh, adrenaline can do that to a person. Good adrenaline. I'm so happy. Indeed. I'll go tell Mark and Sean the news. My baby is healthy. Thank you, God. Well, they're over the moon. You've got two great guys out there. I know. They are both had to run. After they made sure you were okay, of course. But they said they'd call you later. Oh. Um, okay. Congratulations, Pandora. Thanks. A few months passed. I was now six and a half months pregnant. I couldn't wait for the pregnancy to be over. Mostly because I was lonely. Mark kept, his, kept to his word. He only called me once a week to check in. I really missed him. Don't chew on my bag. Sean was the same. He was working really hard and was too busy trying to make money, or his so he kept telling me. Between the upcoming finals and his work, we just hadn't been able to spend enough time together. I thought Sean and I had been building something back up again, but apparently I'd been wrong. I had no doubt either one of them would be an amazing father. It was just me they wanted nothing to do with. This can't be normal. I literally don't fit in any of my clothes. I can barely even bend over at work anymore. Just roll me to the baby shower, will ya? Do you seem to be getting bigger by the day? Blair! I'm just kidding. But you're, you're in luck, sister. I swung by the maternity department and got you a few things. You're gonna look so cute. Look at her belly. Ooh, I like that one. Oh no, I'm tired. I like the blue one. Yep. Wow. I feel so much better. I didn't even know I could look this good. Now, come on. Your mom and I have been planning the shower for months. You're going downstairs and you're going to have fun. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I can't thank everyone enough for coming. All your gifts are beautiful. It wouldn't have been easy if we knew the gender of the baby. Oh, hush, Blair. If Pandora wants it to be a surprise, who are we to tell her no? Anyway, 
Miss Lee, thank you for that spell book. And Max, thank you for the baby you skinny jeans. And Stacy, thank you for all the stuffed animals. My pleasure. It will be a use to your child. You'll see. You're welcome. Anytime. I'm going to start setting out lunch. Pandora, you stay here and try not to roll away. I'll help Miss Ray. Ha ha. Nice shirt. Thank you. I really do appreciate you coming. Well, Yes, well, it's the least I can do. The little brat could be my niece or nephew. What did you just say? Oops, that one slipped. Stacy, I thought we were on good now. Oh, you didn't buy that little apology, did you? The only reason I even was even here is because Sean forced me. He what? I promised Sean I'd play nice and that I'd apologize. He really had it bad for you. Luckily, I put a stop to that. What do you mean? I saw you guys starting to get back together. So I told him I overheard you saying he was annoying. You what? Is that why he's barely been talking to me these past few months? Probably. Sean would have never say, say anything, of course. He doesn't even want to stress you out with the baby and all. If this baby's Sean's, mark my words, you're going to have nothing no more near our kid. Fine with me. Do you honestly think I care? I don't know why I even thought you would. Keep the stuffed animals. They were cheap anyway. Nothing better th than that brat deserves. That witch. She kept Sean and me apart. She lied to us for months. And worst of all, she insulted my baby. What do I do? Keep cool. It's better if she goes now. Clearly our relationship isn't salvageable. Take a deep breath. Don't let that witch get to you. I won't. I'm not letting her ruin my day. That's the spirit. Now let's get some of those fresh mozzarella. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I should call Sean and explain. Thanks for sending all the over all those gifts. Of course. Did you have a good time? I did. I got everything I need. And with this job, I'm saving good money. I might be able to get my own place. Congratulations. I wish you could have been here today. I miss hanging out with you. I miss you too. I hate that things didn't work out between us. Well, maybe. Just drop it, Pandora. We tried. I wish Sean would text me back soon. I'm getting tired. Can you meet me by the lake? Oh my, he wants to meet. This is a perfect chance to undo the damage Stacy had done. Do I want to meet Sean at our favorite place? You're tired. Ugh, I can't. I need to get off my feet. My ankles are swollen. But Sean, I never ever said you were annoying. Stacy was lying. I know, she told me. I can't believe her. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best here, but I'm a little insecure. It's okay. We're all learning through this together. Yes, together. Braxton Hicks. Is it time for delivery? Where are Mark and Sean? That is chapter 28. We will see if the baby is coming soon. But... If y'all are liking this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. And I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye.